In this video, I am going to show you how you can design these type of stacking card effect in Elementor without writing single line of code. Here you can see, these are the stacking cards that we are going to design in this video. I will show you step by step how you can design these cards in Elementor without writing code. Just we are going to use Elementor sticky effect and if you want you can use Elementor scrolling effect as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first section we have is just a basic section with background and heading. I don't think I have to explain this section how you can design this. This is just a basic section. So I will quickly copy this section from the previous page. So we can focus on our main effect without wasting time. So I am going to copy this section from here and I will paste here. So the, our first section is as it is we have added here. The first thing we need, uh, we will add a container and uh, for the width we will keep it as it is and uh, later we will add height for this section but not for now, later we will add. And now let's add the inner container inside this. Let me open the navigator so we can name these so we can add names to these containers without naming it will be a little bit confusing so if we have names then we will easily know then we will know which container we are editing so this is i will say the main container and inside this this is our card one so now inside this card one container we need two inner containers so i will add one container and then I will duplicate this container. Let me change the direction. Now we have two containers inside the card one container. Select the card one container, not the inner container, but the card one container. And uh, as you can see, with we will keep it as 100%. And for the height for the card, we will add 600 pixel. Now let's go to style classic and we will add background color i have already added these colors to save some time so i will choose this color one for the background color close this background go to border and here we will add 70 pixel of border radius then go to advance and 70 pixel of padding select the main container go to advance and link the padding and we will add 100 pixel from top and bottom padding for the main container click on publish so we can save our progress now let's design our first card in this section i will add an image widget and here i will choose the image and in this section i will add heading and an other text editor and a button now select the card container and set the layout to center we need some spacing between these columns so we will select the card container and inside here unlink and we will add column gap 50 pixel now instead of designing these headings from scratch I will copy from here so we can save over some time I will add here and remove this one now we have our the main heading let me copy the second text as well paste and this way we don't have to spend the time on styling this is just a simple things you can do at your own as well let me delete this button our first card is ready just we need to add one thing select the main card container card one and here in advance we will add z index one this is our first card so we will add z index one for the second card we will add z index two so on now duplicate and we will call it card true here you can see our card true select style color i will choose color 2 and for the heading colors i will change all the heading colors to white now change the image select the card container advance 
and add z index to now you can see our second card is ready as well now let me quickly duplicate these cards then we will see how we are going to add the main effect to these cards let me adjust these cards colors and typography these things then we will continue our six cards are ready you can see i have adjust these cards colors images and text now our cards are ready let me click on publish let's have a look so here you can see our first card second now we need to add spacing inside these cards so while the effect we have some space between those so here on we will select the main container and layout and here we will choose pixel to vh and we will add 600 vh and for the spacing we will add a space between click on publish now again take a look now you can see our cards have some spacing so this is it now let's move on to the main effect that we need to add before we that we need to make sure that our cards have the proper z index that the card one has the index one card two has the index two and the card three i will add z index 3 card 4 z index 4 this way we will make sure that all the cards have proper z index okay now all the cards have proper z index click on publish now let's select the card 1 advance motion facts sticky drop and from the top effect sticky effect from the top 50 pixel for the first card now select the second card motion effects drop the first card had 50 this second card will have 70 pixel the gap from the top sides now for the third card we will add 90 card 4 will be double one zero card 5 130 the last card number 6 top and 150 let's click on publish and have a look okay the first card you can see is now sticky let's see how it's looking here you can see the first card has 50 pixel of gap and the second card has the 70 pixel of gap from the top side now the third card have 90 pixel each card have 20 pixel more spacing from the top side now this is just we added sticky effect if you want you can add scrolling effect to these cards as well let me show you on one card if you want to add a scrolling effect so let's select the card one advance motion effect here you can see scrolling effects turn on this here in scale choose scale down true and for these settings you can adjust as you like i'm going to add 3 and 15 let's keep it as it is rest things scrolling effect relative to default here we have viewport and entire page you can take a look but we, for now we will keep it default click on publish and let's have a look how it's looking here you can see our card has a scrolling effect that's it for this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one bye bye